Be my protector, O God, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me, for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, as we enter these sacred mysteries, let us do so by first calling to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. We hear these words from St. Ignatius of Loyola. There are very few people who realize what God could make of them if they but abandon themselves into his hands and let themselves be formed by his grace. There are very few people who realize what God could make of them if they but abandon themselves into his hands and let themselves be formed by his grace. We hear in the readings today, especially from the Old Testament, our first reading and the gospel reading just proclaimed of people who feel and are ostracized, rejected, abandoned, separated, apart, outside of the camp, feeling unclean, unwanted, not enough or not good enough. Such are men and women and children within our larger community or our family, extended family, among friends and perhaps even coworkers. If only they could speak to us of their needs, their weaknesses, without fear of rejection. The leper who came to Jesus was begged the Lord, kneeling before him, and revealed his own need, his weakness, his uncleanness. And Jesus was moved with pity, touched him and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. In the Old Testament, we hear from our first reading, they went to the believers in God and the priests for solace and assistance if they were in need. In the New Testament, they went to Christ, his church, the believers filled with the Holy Spirit and charity who are imitators of Christ, as Paul reminds us in our second reading. Not only to be accepted, but to be made whole by grace and be made whole by an encounter with Jesus Christ. Like Paul, you and I are also called to be imitators of Christ. To those around us who feel ostracized or rejected or abandoned, unwanted or not enough, for them to speak to us without fear of their needs, their weaknesses, 
You and I are called to be the hands and feet of Jesus. This past Advent and uh, uh, Christmas season, this community was incredibly generous in the Angel Tree Initiative, and I want to thank you for that. It was a great sign of us being the hands and feet of Jesus, being imitators of Christ, reaching out our hands and touching the needs of others to will ourselves to help and to help others be made clean. This weekend, we have Catholic Services Appeal Foundation. In our appeal this week, weekend is an opportunity of grace to be and continue to be for us the hands and feet of Jesus now and in this world to be change makers in the lives of others. A number of recipients are given from uh, their needs being met through our generosity. A couple examples are 12,000 people per week receiving fresh groceries and hygiene items. 1,200 hot meals served monthly, 635 people provided with housing or emergency shelter each month, thousands receiving life-giving care and sacraments via the hospital chaplains, 33,000 young people being strengthened in the Catholic faith, 1,300 women and families provided with pro-life support, 28,000 Catholic school students benefiting from in-person learning, and over 50 priests receiving tuition assistance. There are various ways in which you can give to Catholic Services Appeal. I plead for your generosity again, so that you and I can be the hands and feet of Jesus in this world, to make a difference in the lives of many, to touch their need, to help them be made clean, so to speak. You can do it through online giving to go to givecsaf.org. That's givecsaf.org. Or if you're here at Mass this weekend in parish, you fill out envelopes and place them in the parish collection basket. Or by postal mail, you can mail your gift into Catholic Services Appeal Foundation. Right now, you will see a brief video on Catholic Services Appeal and the difference your donation and mine and the wider community of Catholics make in this local community. Together in Hope. The Catholic Services Appeal Foundation is an independent foundation partnering with fellow Catholics to share Christ's love with neighbors in need through ministries that serve the poor, support life, and strengthen the faith. With your support, we provide funding to 20 different ministries that help create a better future for all. Each of these ministries share joy, hope, and dignity with neighbors, throughout the metro area and beyond. When you donate to the CSAF, you help provide medical and dental care to destitute orphans and the elderly in Venezuela. Distribute fresh groceries and hygiene items to more than 12,000 people each week through more than 45 food shelves in the 12 county metro area and serve over 10,000 hot meals and provide shelter to over 5,400 people per year. Your gifts support life by funding hospital chaplains, providing healing and hope to those touched by abortion, and offering counseling, physical care, supplies, and resources to those in crisis pregnancies and to families with special needs children. The designated ministries also strengthen the Catholic faith in countless ways, including giving more than $2.5 million per year to Catholic schools for operating costs and scholarships providing tuition assistance and room and board for those studying to become our future priests, and helping vibrant communities of faith reach out to young people, Catholic American Indians, our Latino brothers and sisters, and deaf Catholics. As good stewards, total CSAF expenses are kept at a lean 10% of budget, and a percentage of gifts given to the CSAF are shared with your own parishes for their ministries. Our Archdiocese is blessed by the Catholic Services Appeal Foundation. Its annual appeal supports ministries vitally important to our local community. 
There are ministries that have a huge impact on our lives in every situation and on our church. In this period of COVID, can you imagine if we weren't able to fund having chaplains in our hospitals to take care of our loved ones? At this time of particular need, please be generous in supporting this year's Catholic Services Appeal. I am confident that together in hope, we can share Christ's peace, dignity, and joy with our brothers and sisters. Together in hope, let's foster faith and dignity for all. Visit GiveCSAF.org today and help create a better tomorrow. Well, thank you for watching this video, and it'll be played at all the Masses this coming Sunday and Saturday night. Again, I appeal to your generosity that you so exhibited over Advent and Christmas, and again, to help others who are in need and to bring them to wholeness in Christ, for you and I to be the hands and feet of Jesus. As the hands and feet of Christ in this world, in our present age, we are strengthened by faith, and so let us make a profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Together as a united body of Christ, we offer these, our intercessions, to our Heavenly Father in the name of Jesus, through the power of the Spirit. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and all bishops and priests, and all the people of God, that all what we say and do may be for the glory of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the witness of the Church imitating Christ may draw all peoples and nations to the kingdom of God, through a life-changing encounter with Jesus, we pray to the Lord. For an end to this worldwide pandemic and the success of new COVID-19 vaccines, we pray to the Lord. For those seeking pregnancy and for those who are expecting that they may know God's providential care through the intercession of St. Gerard, we pray to the Lord. For all those living on the margins, who sense separation and isolation from God and neighbor, that they may be cleansed by the mercy of God and renewed by the outstretch of his body, the church. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the success of Catholic Services Appeal Foundation, reaching out as the hands and feet of Jesus to those marginalized, those in need, and those who are dedicated in serving in his church that their efforts may relieve, heal, and restore all those who are in need of the touch of Jesus in their life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our fellow parishioners who have asked for our prayers, especially for the people of the parish for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may know the cleansing power of saving grace, and their loved ones renewed in faith and consoled in love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we are the hands and feet of your Son. Continue to inspire us, empower us by the Holy Spirit. 
through acts of faith, hope, and love, so that your name may be glorified and we continue to grow in holiness, being a radiant light in this world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth he brought renewal, to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, 
partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, Andrew, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that all who believe in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
just a few announcements. After the advisement by the parish leadership and my desire to enhance our worship experience, I want to let you know that those who are watching from home, there are plans in the works for new lighting and a new sound system. These are in play. Details will be forthcoming. I wanted to uh, announce that exciting information to you as well. We look forward to the day when you join us in person. Uh, so many of us want to reconnect with one another. Know that you're missed and loved. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.